So welcome to the next part of this video. So I have already created a VIO wrapper. So the steps remains the same as we have done in the lab 2 and lab 3. So one thing which I need to point out here is that uh, my one probe will be of single bit, another probe will be of three bit because I need to probe the present state as well as the output, right? And all the other probes will remain a single bit. Finally, I have connected it to the top underscore sequence. Now, also, I have added the XTC file. The XTC file remains the same. So instead of creating it, I have just added it, just like we did for the clock divider module. I have added it from the counter example. Now, one more thing which I forgot during this FSM. So right now, this this reset which we have used is a synchronous reset but this won't work in our current design so there is a reason that it won't work in our current design because so my clock pulse will be a clock pulse is getting generated whenever this input 0 as input and or input 1 is uh, getting a, a logic high so that pulse will be generated this is not a continuous uh, pulse so I cannot use a synchronous reset because if the reset if the reset happen and the input either of the input is also pressed then it is fine but i cannot rely on that so what i will do is i will make my reset asynchronous so in this case my asynchronous reset won't work because of the design which we have made for the clock pulse generator right so for this i only need to make one change in the sensitivity list i need to make this so now what will happen uh, I have two two elements in my sensitivity list either the clock pulse arrives then this will uh, uh, then this always block will be executed or the positive of the clear arrives then this always block will be executed so now when we have made changes to this thing let's generate the bits from this So we will wait for a few minutes and the bit stream is generated. Now let's open the hardware manager. Let's program the device. Yeah. So now let's see and let me give input sequence. So first I will give a one. So my present state changes to 1. Okay. Next I will again give a 1. Present state changes to 2. Next I will give an input of 0. Present state changes to 3. That means I have 1, 1 and 0 of the sequence. Next I will give 1. I have at state, I am at state 4 now. So now if the input comes out to be 1, my output should go high, right? Because I have already detected 1, 1, 0, 1, and only 1 is needed. So once I get a 1, I can see my output goes to 1, right? So my output goes high, and my present state goes to 2. That's according to the state diagram, right? Now let's again give a 0 input. So my output goes 0, and the present state goes 3, right? So 1, 1, 0 is again detected. Next, I will go to the 1 and one more 1. So my state goes to 2 and one more once more, the output goes to high. So that means my sequence is detected. So as we have checked it, our sequence detector is working fine. One more thing to check is to check the functionality of clear. So when the clear gets high, my present state goes to 0. So this is the S0 which we have made the reset state in our design. So, yeah, 
So our design is working fine as we checked by giving the input input from the two buttons input 0 and input 1 and also I checked the functionality of clear. So that's all for lab 2. This design is working fine. You can test by giving different combinations, right? So that's all for lab 2. So we will meet in lab 3. Thank you very much.